Welcome to Good Mythical More. Who are you talking about? This is when we read a comment. We don't know if it's about me or Link, and we okay. guess. Let's hear it. Okay, Andre Nikolov says, Blank is so awesome. Blank is very lucky to have a best friend like him. Whoa, okay. Hold on, it seemed like. So is he gonna be were... Rhett, then Link, or Link, then Rhett? See, two One points. of us is awesome and is lucky to have be friends the other with one, you. Right. I mean, the other I'm, one's lucky to. I mean, I'm not gonna guess that. I mean, whoever guesses, you know what, Link? I'm gonna guess that Link is so awesome. I think Rhett is very lucky he has him as a best friend. You can't do that now because I did it first. I think I think you're still uh, marginally awesome, but I'll, I guess I'll guess me too. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Rhett is so awesome, and he's you know what? He's so you know what? thoughtful. I am he's also thought so thoughtful. I am very lucky to have you as a friend. Yeah, it doesn't mean that I'm not awesome. Yeah, you're awesome to have me as a best friend. Speaking of awesome, let's bring in the boys from Sorted Food. This is my um, Ben and James. All right. Um, so we are. Oh. I do one. Hey, guy. Hey. Hey, guys. Hello. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to the to the land. Scoot on in Down so we over. make sure we, everybody's in camera here. There we go. We got it. We yeah, got it. Yeah. Looking good. Okay. It's cozy. I like so, uh, yeah, I like your. I like your ensembles. Thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll palette. Well, the way the way I'm noticing your collars. Yeah. Like I noticed. You've all got this collars. Is a British thing. Like, well, I mean, today it seems smart. that way because we don't have any collars today. We Yours talked a lot tasteful. about this this morning. <laughs> Yours is just tasteful. I wouldn't say expected, but I would say I'm comfortable with it. Yours piques my interest a little bit because it's. <laughs> this is a knit shirt with buttons it's, all yeah. the way up the front. It's got a bowling shirt kind of a vibe. It doesn't right. really know what it is. But it but it's not it's a bowling shirt because it's knit. And then it's got a it's got calligraphy. Cal calligraphy. <laughs> it's got calligraphy. And I like that. And then we over well, here I'm just gonna say uh, it's a very special day. However, we've been in the US for a while, and it's the last shirt I had. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, don't you it's self down, man. I like it. Honesty matters. I you're like it. You're it's like sporty a, spice. I, I just <laughs> like sporty spice. That's a bit. No one has ever said that before. Ever said that. That is so. You can do a handstand if you if you ask him. Uh, <laughs> some days I can. Well, it's kind of like a study in collars, you know. Right. It's, it's a study yeah, in yeah, collars. Yeah, it's like collars three ways. It's like a history of the evolution of the British shirt. Etiquette. Yeah. Welcome to etiquette. Yeah, look at look at oh, us losers. And then, wow, yeah. <laughs> we're we're collarless. I mean, I think it's like this is like a trip towards America in casualty. Not casualty. <laughs> <laughs> Casualness. Like you got like you got a nasty t shirt which is like I'm still kinda trying, and you're like camo. If you want you to know? be hydrated, you can have some of that water oh, over there. Oh, yes, so, please. Yeah. Really think about that. This is the evolution of a shirt, guys. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more crazy well, it is. Well you're not even wearing one. <laughs> exactly, see? <laughs> Shirtless. All right. Uh, okay. Subscribe to Sorted Food. Yeah, do that. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. More In case we forget to say that. It's on that. YouTube. Look at how much fun that we have with it. <laughs> so many colors. So you guys brought some uh, some snacks from your homeland. And are these movie theater snacks or just snacks? These are movie theater good, snacks. Good, good. We're staying we on topic. Yeah, I mean, they can be had any time. I, I, I would eat Maltese at any point. You know, I mean, they are ideal. For well, let's start with those. Tell us about it. This is just a little... Show it to the people. This is a delicious light bite. <laughs> honeycomb covered in chocolate. It's very simple. Is it is it fake honeycomb or are they have actually? Have you never had Maltesers? I've never that, heard, seen, or thought about. Mind. We have a breed of dog that's the same thing <laughs> that I enjoy. I eat regularly. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that! They're not really hacking up honeycombs. They're manufacturing it's, it's this. Like a they have a good dispensing. I would love to know how these are made. I got two in a row. <laughs> There's a hole. So easy, just easy to spend for the uh, for the movie theater. See, you're not going to spill them everywhere, one at a time. Yeah, and you're just, just going to make a lot. You're of just noise. hearing that <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. We call those a whopper. <laughs> <laughs> whopper. Yeah, it's just like a whopper. Not, not the Burger King whopper, but the whopper. Oh. You just served us a whopper. <laughs> oh, yeah. so these are just so something. This that's... is just a rebrand, is it? Oh. Malted milk balls is what we call them. That's disappointing. Mm. Oh. I'm sure we liberated it from you guys and just called it something else. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like you guys well, do more better than we do. Oh, really? No, I'll, I'll take that compliment. It's old school. Okay, what else you got? I don't like it though. I'm gonna, Do they taste different? I'm going to come back to huh? these. Do they taste okay. different? All right. No, not, not at all. Uh, so these are Revels. Okay. These are the quintessential British candy because they contain six different varieties of candy. Wow, six. At least one of them is disgusting. So, <laughs> oh, it's like a game. 
Well, absolutely. Well, they're not and meant to be disgusting. It's very British in that we can't even make a candy that we can completely enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> we have to remind ourselves that right. life's not that great. So, you know, if you get an orange cream used to exist in these. I don't know whether the same thing exists in the ones here. But so let's see if we can, can you identify? So it's, not, it's not deliberately disgusting. It's just everyone has a favorite. It's okay. like chocolate right, roulette. It. And one of them is a Malteser. Oh, really? Oh, it makes it up. Right. <laughs> Uh, now, the interesting Ooh. thing is that... I know, you've got a lot of... Well, you, I'm just... Yeah, give me... Oh, oh. Yeah, Did you just give me yeah. one of each? No, I'm giving you all of those. Now, what does it make you think of, Link, when you see Rebels? Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? You think about Rebels Tractor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went to school with a, a family named Rebels. That's the last uh, name. they had a tractor place called Rebels Tractor. Oh, I dropped oh, that one. Okay. Uh, so you, whether it bounces or not will give you a clue as to what it could be. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> this one is a disc shape. I'm gonna eat that. It actually doesn't bounce at all. That's a mo Is that a that Maltese? Means. That's an orange. I, I got an orange one. Orange yeah. cream. Did you like that? Yeah. That's my worst flavor. I like that's, the orange cream. that's my worst nightmare. Orange really? Chocolate. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Okay, this one is just chocolate. Yep. Classic. So chocolate disc. And then this one probably has a raisin in it. Oh, maybe that one was yeah, good. Oh, that's the reason that. Identified it yeah. Are you enjoying even these? cracking it. Um, no. Yeah, I like to eat kind of like a gerbil. <laughs> <laughs> More of a nibbler than a... You love a cross section, don't you? <laughs> that's another... <laughs> well, that's another raisinette. I got a raisinette. It's good. What's a raisin? Is it just a little raisin? It's a raisin. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a female caramel. raisin. That's, that's yeah. great. That's toffee. That's good. Yeah. Toffee? Or... Yeah. It's like, it's like a toff. Well, it's supposed to be a toffee in the no. UK. There's but. actually not a lot of a. It, they're all different, but they all kind of taste very similar because that chocolate's pretty strong. Well, our, our chocolate differs to your guys, doesn't it? Ours is really sweet in comparison. Like when we come over and have a Hershey's, it feels like ours is a lot sweeter, like a lot more milky. Our milk chocolate. Do you think it's too bitter? Um, like ours is bitter. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. It's just very different. Well, that orange thing is nasty. <laughs> You're right about yeah. that. Yes. And what's our what's our third one here? These are wine gums. So these are my favorite. Wine so, gums? Wine gums. They're the ones that... I've heard of these. They've been around a long time. And it's... They're just classic. Five different flavors, each named after a different wine, each shaped like a different bottle or shape. Can you get drunk off of them? Uh, Non-alcoholic. But as a kid, you can eat them feeling grown up. What do, you, what do you mean named after a different wine? I don't know this. Named after a different Teach wine? Teach me. Each one's got like a wine on it. Not, not all Brits know these things. Burgundy. Oh. Like oh, a burgundy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You just learned something about your own country. I, I've, just, I've just been, you know. Fortified port. wine. Port. port. See, we would outlaw this <laughs> in our country. You can't teach the kids to drink the yeah, wine. It's true. This wouldn't be allowed in the Or smell. to smoke the cigarettes or chew the tobacco. Drinking's a huge part of our culture to get <laughs> through the weather. So yeah. we have to teach them early. Yeah. Like, if you're going to survive in this country with this rain, <laughs> you've got to get on the wine early. <laughs> also, um, good for your buck. These are good. You chew them, they get stuck in your teeth, they're there for the whole film. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what we have? We have the non-wine version of these and they're called Dots. Are they exactly the are same? Are they the same? They're, it's a rebrand. Very, very we've, we've similar. We've literally taken just they're, things that are named differently but taste the same. They're not nearly as fun and I don't think they taste as good. I don't think they're the same. You're just falling for the... Uh, do you have a favorite the flavor? Allure. Um, this is champagne. Now we've got something for you guys. Oh, we've got a, um, a signature American snack, which is really a snack from Mexico. Right. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. Um, Josh, bring this in and, and, and do the honors. All right, so oh, here kind of a tray. we have... Have you guys met Josh? Hey, hey Josh. Hey. guys? We hey, talk on the internet Josh. sometimes. <laughs> we do. Uh, so these are called Tosti Locos or uh, Dori Locos if it's made with Doritos, but they're made with all kinds of chips. Started in Mexico, really popular in LA now. You get them at ice cream trucks and street vendors. On top of the chips, we have uh, chamoy, which is a pickled apricot and chili sauce. We have Valentina hot sauce, jicama, mango, cucumber, pickled pork skin. Some have cacahuates japoneses or Japanese peanuts, of course. Uh, tamarind candy called pulparindo. And then uh, some pickled pig skin and gummy bears. Hey, hey. 
What's up? Listen, I, I know you do food and they do food, but yeah. you need to chill out a lot. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to impress you. I'm feeling just, really inadequate. We right were now. Fun. just we relax, wine man. Gum. I'm trying to put our man, brand on the go. table, man. This is what we're doing here. Hey, yeah, it's like I, I'll praise you later, but since we're here, I'm like, yeah. hey, let's just. Uh, so, okay, you're just welcome, and also I apologize. Wow. Let's just play it cool, Josh. <laughs> Grab a bag, guys. What? I think I'm you got some. The pickle pork Me too. What's this? Am I taking someone's? Yeah, take that. No, take it. Wow, it's waiting. Oh, sure. Sorry, my mic's falling off. I got so, ruffled, man. It's kind of yeah. ruffled. Got ridges. Grab that place. I kind of don't know where to. So, oh. wow, wow. I think you just, you know, you just, you just grab. Oh, oh it's kind of. No. Use the chip to scoop everything up, right? With gummy and hot. The forks I mean, aren't meant to be used. And sour and spicy. It was a test. No, silly. Ah, good. Silly forks. Cheers. Hmm. Cheers. This oh. is really good. I don't know it's what's fun. happening in your bag. I'm not wow. sure what I'm eating. No, it's really confusing in a, in a mm -hmm. wonderful way. No, it's very, it's, oh. it's fun, it's cataclysmic, it's spicy. Whoa. Mm. Oh, it's you got some spice? spice? You've got to get the cucumber right. in there as well. I don't like Cools it down. I don't like cucumber though. I don't have cucumber in there. Oh! What, what? You don't take these into the cinema though, come on. What is that? You don't take these to movies. No, I think Josh missed that note that it needed to be for a movie. <laughs> it to be a spicy I can take whatever I want into the movies, man. <laughs> You're just showing off now. <laughs> I want to know what that Japanese peanut is. Is that what, mm. is that what this is, I think? Oh. Tell you what, the mm. sauce on that is delicious. It looks like ibuprofen. Do we, did you, did you just throw on your ibuprofen? <laughs> that's a peanut. Thing? That's a peanut. Uh, no, it's, it's like a kind of um, round, almost looks like a Jordan almond. It's got a kind of beige color on it. This one. Search cool. around. But what is this? A Tylenol. Oh, that's a, a little uh, tamarind <laughs> candy covered in chili. Tamarind candy. I'm sorry. There's a Japanese oh, peanut, so you want those? Oh, oh. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel now like you need to take it. a wet wipe in with you. <laughs> right. Wet if you're on the back bench of the cinema with wet wipes, people are going to be suspect. But I think <laughs> if you've got a dish, dish like this, you kind of need them. You guys have to get on a plane today? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> eat this up. This is all mixing down here. You have, to eat. you have to eat every last bit of that. My whole body is just hot right now. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sweating a, hard. I've got a window seat. <laughs> <laughs> So in recent or upcoming episodes, you guys are in New Orleans and yeah. Portland. Well, yeah, we've been basically um, traveling around the US um, by three traveling rules. We're trying to reinvent the way that people travel and eat. Okay. And so we have three rules. Number one, uh, we can only go to places and eat things that have been recommended by our viewers. Love it. So mm -hmm. you're forced into going all over the place and places that you never choose. Number two is say yes. We've ended up in some crazy situations just by saying yes. You we're don't know where you end up. Alligator hunting, all of that stuff. So that's interesting. Good. Oh wow! And uh, number three is pass it on. So we we normally like try and find some people who are doing really cool things with food to help their communities. We go and pay them a visit and talk to them. So nice. that's cool. And welcome here. Thanks for hanging thank out. Thank you. With us. No, thanks thank for having you. us. You, you can actually take that on the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everyone will thank you. This Security is... won't question it at all. No, no, no. Not unless, if you put it, you gotta put it in a clear, clear plastic bag. <laughs> and everything will be okay. Do a blind taste test in your sleep with our mythical sleep masks. Available now at mythical.com.